Welcome to the Kendi and Rabo podcast, episode 22, recorded in Rabo's shed. Let's pretend we're on Archie Frontline. On Frontline? Is that one of those Which one is that? One with the guards? Shows? No, which one is that? Crime Watch. Crime Watch. So the fella, he came in and uh, he, <laughs> you, it was the back window he came in through. And you see, Maggie just leave it open at night because it doesn't get off the warm. <laughs> and she has the 13.5 tag anyway on the bed, you see. So she just leave the back window open. And three feathers came in and they had their way with her. And when she was up on the stand then, they said, Maggie, will you show me on the doll where they touched you? And she said, well, they touched me here, here, and here. And I wanted them to touch me here, but they wouldn't, you see. <laughs> um, how's it, Tay? And you're welcome here to the Kendi and Rebo Morning Show. Every time of the day, they have different voices, the DJs. The morning guys, well, actually, the really early morning, like five o'clock, you're very welcome along. And then the seven o'clock or the eight o'clock, when they're trying to get you up, they get a bit jazzier. Then, yeah. welcome, welcome, welcome to the morning show here on Skid FM. There was a Waterford Whispers news article today. All right. I love Waterford And it was uh, that everybody in Ireland should have a podcast by 2020. <laughs> I, I saw someone sent me a picture of, um, so I'm in my mid-twenties, what should I do, start a family or start a podcast? <laughs> me in my, in my mid-thirties, I suppose, a podcast was the only answer. Yeah. I don't know, it's, everyone's starting them, really. we just have to stay ahead of the curve. Well, I'd have to look now and see, can I find the wee article? Because I didn't do any research whatsoever, of course, <laughs> naturally. Uh, oh yeah, there we are. Everyone to have their own podcast by 2020. <laughs> Shout out there to the Waterford Whispers <laughs> News. They struck a tone in me today. I'd say most of my family and friends tagged me in this particular oh, one. That's brilliant. New report has found that every single person living on the planet will have their own individual weekly podcast by March 2020. <laughs> but that's a, that's not a bad idea. Then nobody yeah. will listen to anyone. Yeah. We're lucky, like. We're struggling enough, like. We're like the time, you know, back when the old cars came out first. Right. We were the first ones with the cars. Now everybody's cars. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess someone back in the 1930s read that same thing. Everyone to have their own car by well, 1952. <laughs> it's funny because when you think back, like, podcast has been around since, like, 2004 or some oh, shit. Before that? Yeah. Like, Ricky Gervais had a, a massive podcast before podcast was anything. We've done this before. Have I'd we? Say, we have done this bit. Have we? I'd say about eight times. No way And I've we cut haven't. it out of eight episodes. Why? Because it's terrible. <laughs> it's not a bit like it's... It's terrible. We talk about other people's podcasts as terrible. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake. Right, okay. There was a super cut there because Ray got w- really vexed at me for saying something. Really fucking annoyed, like... <laughs> So can we can we, uh, can we can we start this properly? It's a very democratic podcast that me and Ray run here. Like we both Hello. listen to each other. Hello. Yeah, there we go, Ray. What would you like to say? <laughs> can we start this properly? Yeah, we're starting it now. All right, this is it started. It's what do you do? So I wanted to put a bid in, and Ray didn't want to put it in. So we came to a compromise, and we didn't put it in. <laughs> 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 Episode twenty-two is here. That's here we uh, are. But we're not in our usual environment, no, as you heard there. By because I'm going to have to change the tagline now. Mm. You know. Welcome to the Kendi and Rebo podcast, yeah. episode 22, recorded in Rebo's shed. Rebo's shed, yeah. <laughs> We're out in the shed here. Not really a shed, more like a... Like a, a small, trendy apartment. Yeah, it is like a trendy yeah. apartment. Man, you pay a fortune for this place in Dublin. Oh, if it's in Dublin, it's two and a half grand. Man, sure. <laughs> Do not for this, this room. Easy, man. It's an get... ensuite shed. That's yeah. what we call it. And there's beds and there's the whole feckin' lot. Man. There's you not get beds go, in it. You get good pound for that. There's this. not beds in this. Oh, there's not supposed to be beds. No, there's not supposed to be beds. Um, sorry. It's a I'm, shed. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. There's no beds in there's this no place. There's no beds. It's a lawnmower. Yeah. And uh, there's a cat two in the bikes. corner. Yeah. There's two bikes. Uh, one of them's broke. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just a regular shed. Rusty with No tools. beds. Um, no comforts of any kind at all. It's yeah. definitely not a spare bedroom. No, it isn't. No. no. And if Sligo County Council are listening, it's definitely not a spare bedroom. <laughs> and do you know why I should say that right now and qualify it? Because I found the things I say on this thing sometimes get out of hand. Yeah. Well, that's the danger, Ray. Kendi. My like heart what? was in my mouth last night. Why? Because that thing that went up Facebook. Oh. The call out. So, uh, for anyone who listens a good bit, you'll know that in episode one, we got an out-of-date now, beer. Can we even go into the story? Ah, uh, look. Yeah, we can. They told right, it was funny. Okay. Then we may have got another out-of-date beer uh, on the last episode. So, yesterday evening, we got called out on Facebook. By the shop where we got the out-of-date beer. Cancer Centra. They said, does anybody know them? Because we want to give them a baiting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was the polite way of going, who are these lads now? These yeah. are jokers. Yeah. Yeah. So me, uh, me and Ray landed down this evening ready for a fight. I was ready for the fight. Ray licked his knuckles and everything. He had them blooper cases. Yeah, the you were wearing us. your fancy white trainers. I know, because... You were no more ready for a fight now. No, they're my baiting shoes. <laughs> Is that the baiting shoes? Yeah, do we go baiting in them shoes? <laughs> What, what, did, that's what did you call yourself earlier? Uh-huh. You're dressed as sporty Kendi. <laughs> this is this is sports guy Kendi. <laughs> when, I wear, when I wear me trading shoes. 
Do you know what I mean? I have sports guy outfits, but I don't do a lot of sport, you see. like That's true. Do you That's know what true. I mean? But I we landed down anyway looking for the fight. Yeah. Ready for a fight. Ready for it. Yeah. Yeah. But Pure jazzed up. They, they weren't ready for a fight at all. They wanted no. to give us a present. They did. Try and make up for stuff. Yeah. And we have the present here. So fair play to Calter Centre. And the weight of it. So we're going to open the bag in and see. They said they have a proposition in... They have an envelope attached letter, to it. Yeah. And I am absolutely certain. Do you know what this is? What? This is a letter from their solicitor. <laughs> And it's going to openly just, just say, you know, you can't be... Defamation of character. Yeah, or as you call it, what is it, def- defecation? De- a defecation. <laughs> I didn't mean to defecate you now. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> you got that right and wrong, didn't you? <laughs> I let, well, I opened the envelope. Yeah, I opened it, yeah. And the winner of this year's award for... <laughs> what is it, really? Out of Date Beers goes <laughs> to... Oh, Jesus, it's... it's what the God, it's on headed notepaper and everything. I'm going to read this now, not having read it earlier. Yeah. This could land me in bother, but she didn't get it. It's not going out live, so we're okay. Yeah, you can edit <laughs> it out. Edit this out yeah. and, and rewrite it, yeah. yeah. Dear Kendi and Rebo, Centra Caltra here. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you were talking about me. Oh, it's a person! <laughs> oh, that's nice. We are so sorry we failed you. Twice now. We have taken action and put some serious measures in place to prevent this happening again. Please accept our apology and accept this bag of cans. <laughs> In the hope that drinking them will ease the pain and suffering of the soggy beer ye had to endure. Fantastic bit of English there now. Uh, We also heard of your ambitions to work in a deli. What? Well, we could never say no to free labour. Well, like most Irish businesses. (laughs) And there are sandwiches to be made. We have a coffee morning for Action Breast Cancer on the 3rd of November, and we could do with a hand. So if it suits, we will roster you in at some stage. Yes! <laughs> Man, did we just get a job? <laughs> Looking forward to hearing from you. Yours sincerely, the loveliest girl in the world, Donna, up uh, in Centra Caltra. Fair P.S. Place, yeah. We are loving the podcast. Keep it up. Ray, that's marvellous, isn't it? That's, that bit of paper there is after making me pure, happy and warm and fuzzy inside. So the 3rd of November is a Saturday, Ray? Yeah. So we may do that, probably. Oh, we are doing it. Donna, we, we, we gracefully we, accept. We gratefully accept yeah, yeah, your yeah. proposition. Fair we will be words. there and I have my own chef suit, so no need to worry about that. <laughs> no need to worry about that. I bought a chef suit there about a year ago and I have only used once. I, I'm buying a novelty apron. Oh, you have to. A bikini body. <laughs> <laughs> you know them ones? <laughs> Well, fair play, Chief. Will we open up and see what kind of... Open the beers. It's some bag of stuff. Jeez. It is literally a bag of cans. A bag of cans. Yeah, I've noticed they've got... And they've, they've, the way uh, to any man's heart is a bag of cans. Right, we have... Oh. First one out of the bag. Woo. A lovely tin of smithics. A can of smithics. Would it not be beautiful? We have a drop of white hag. IPA. IPAs, yeah. Lay Herps them out here, can. Lay them out here. More. Oh, Jesus, hold on now. Hold on one second now. So, there's... Uh, they've really been listening because we do love the Lomza too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so they got us a Lomza all the way from Poland. We are going to check the dates on all of these. Yeah. <laughs> Mark is looking at them there now as we speak. How are they looking? I'd say they wouldn't make that kind of mistake, no. would they? Or would they just oh give us God. an out of, ten, out of date? 2011. Bag? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm class. What's this one now? Oh, Jesus, there's a bit of Lost Armada from the Lock Gill crowd. Lovely. Oh, Lost Armada, we had that before, didn't we? Yeah. Um, Hino Weiser. Hino Weiser. Yeah. There's loads in here, lad. Jeez, man, they filled us up. There is... A McNussie. <laughs> a White Hag Ninth Wave. All White Hag lads. Good local brewing company. Are there 10 tins there, is there? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10! Fair play to them. That's, that's five episodes sorted. Caltra Centra, the hatchet has been buried. Yeah. And uh, fair play to you. We're now uh, colleagues for life, I think. That's great. And we can't wait till the 3rd of November. They're going to be plugged in this show now forever. I know. Yeah. Which is nice. Which is good because I live 30 yards away from the <laughs> shop. <laughs> And it's nerve wracking. Will we tear into these? We will. Yeah, I'm gonna have the spinnings, man. What about that? Do I want it? Yeah. What do I want? I I think that white IPA looks absolutely stunning, Ray. No. <laughs> okay. No, Decided now. <laughs> That's what I want. Slaunch it. <laughs> Slaunch it that. So our first outside broadcast, right? It is our well, technically the first outside broadcast that might make it on the airwaves. Yeah. Cheers, lad. Right. We have tried several outside broadcasts, and none of them have been any good. I know. You just get used to the room, you know. We do get fair nervous, like. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. How are you feeling being out of your own comfort zone? Oh, you old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that, did you? Oh, that's tremendous. Mm. Good day, and you were hungover. You had many pints last night. Oh, man. I was so drunk last night. Man. <laughs> did you make a fool of yourself? No, I didn't do anything. No, I didn't like... Uh, I, was just, I was just loaded up to the brim. Have you ever fallen asleep in a bar or a nightclub? No. Never. No, have you done that? 
Falling asleep. Right, I have a friend. I'm going to call him out now as well, right? Our guitar player in Hot Fuss, Johnny Fallon. Right. He doesn't go out without falling asleep at a bar. I have never <laughs> seen him not fall asleep at a bar, right? And the funny thing is, he'll like that, he'll be gone. Out. So we were out in Killarney one night, and uh, we were just drinking after the gig because we were staying over. Mm-hmm. And a couple of drinks, a couple of drinks. I was chatting to Johnny, like me and you were chatting here right now, right? Yeah. And I turned around to chat to someone else for... Maybe four minutes. Yeah. And when I turned back around, Johnny was asleep at the bar. Now, in fairness... Knocked out. Mark's version of four minutes and the actual uh, time that you were talking to someone. It, probably grossly different. Was it bright outside it when you turned back two around hours. Johnny, was it? It could have been two hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, he... Every time, every time I've ever drank with him, he falls asleep at the, at the bar. Why do you do it? No. I have relatives that do it. Yeah. In my own family. I don't get it. Like, I can't it. call them out now. Close they're relatives. All, they're all teachers, you see. Oh. So you can't be saying things about teachers on a podcast. Yeah. Because they won't, they won't thank you for it. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it in the boat, Karen. No, no. <laughs> is Shh. it, is it her? No, it's not. It is. Oh, and you know something? Now, in that, I've now narrowed it down to two. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dennis Joanne. But I tell you, on a completely different note, Joanne's boyfriend was well delighted with the old uh, uh, shout out from last week. That's great. He's such a fan. Huh? I play it him. <laughs> I know. Mike, fair play to you is dead right. Mm. But Camille, I know it's not Marie because she's um like like very um. What's the word I'm looking for? Professional. Yeah. She wouldn't let herself fall asleep. No way. No. She's I'd be a very controlled the same. woman. I yeah. couldn't I couldn't let myself fall asleep. Well, well you and Marie are the same people to me, like a right. lot of the time when I see you. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. the other two are just wild. Wild, wild old yokes, yeah. Yeah, yeah in fairness. So it's Joanne that falls asleep. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Come here now and tell me. Go on. Do you like the shed? Uh I think it's really nice, Ray, yeah. Yeah. I think it might take us an episode or two if we were to do it here. Sometimes for me to find the right butt of something to sit. Yeah, because I have you sitting on the bed. At the I bed. have I mean, my left the cheek on the lawnmower. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're sitting on the lawnmower. I have my left cheek on the very comfortable lawnmower, mm. and my right cheek off of it. Mm. Yeah. Would you prefer to lie down, maybe? No, no. Because there'd be no jazz. I would be at all if I lie no down. Jazz. <laughs> no. I'd say that Nicola attests to that. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, that Now, in fairness, there's a reason we're recording of a Thursday. It's Thursday, by the way. Yeah. And we're in also not in the box room. Yeah. We are trying to take advantage yes. of a travelling musician. Yes. And his band of musicians. Yes. Uh, a man by the name of Ben Reel yeah. is in town tonight and he's playing at the Swag Man. Yeah. Not that, that matters now. No, no. Yeah. Not that it matters to anybody. Look, yeah. it was great. You missed out. Yeah, savage. <laughs> <laughs> but we said to ourselves, we might try and get him in to play a song. Yeah. Because I'm first fond of Ben Reel. He's marvellous. You know nothing about him. No, but I know his band, like, because I don't know his history, like. Yeah. But he's got a tremendous band, mm. and they play some marvellous tunes. When I was a younger man. Yeah. Very young now. Long time ago. This is when now I just turned, I wasn't even, I don't think I was even 18. Oh, yeah. I was 17. Because I'd done my leaving cert. I'd done my leaving cert when I was 17. Yeah. And then uh, we had the grad. Yeah. I drove to my grad. Did you? Would you believe that? Did you drink? No. What? I know. You didn't get water just No, I didn't, no. Did you have someone to bring with you? I did. Who was she? Patricia Timlin. Oh, shout girl. out there, Patricia Timlin. God bless you, Patricia Timlin. You did me a serious solid. Uh, did you? And shift? a big shout out to PJ now, who's married to Patricia. <laughs> um, PJ Flannery, fair play to you. Was he at the grad as well? No, I, no, he wasn't. He was a couple of years ahead of me. So that's oh, always right. the way. Yeah. To be yours in your year or yeah. the year below you. Yeah. Are always bad for the, the fellas that are up in years above you. Yeah, yeah. So you have no hope. Yeah. I did well now getting this girl to come with me. And, go, go, and did you shift Trisha to grad? I did not. <laughs> Should, and, <laughs> not hope. <laughs> it's so different. My my grad experience is so different than, you know, the American. Yeah. What do you call the thing? Where everyone goes back to a boathouse, oh, the not, prom. <laughs> yeah. They all go back to a boathouse and, oh my God, I lost my virginity last night to Caitlin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You did that didn't shy. happen. At at my grad, we went out. We looked great for the majority of the day. We had the meal. It's a bit like a wedding, isn't it? It is exactly like a wedding. Isn't yeah. it just like a wedding? Yeah. You go so, drinking in the bar first. Yeah. Then you go up to the Dolphin. We cross my line. Shout out to the Dolphin. <laughs> and you sit down for a big meal. And then the band came in. Bog the Donkey happened to be playing on it. Yeah. Oh, do you, do you, Bog the Donkey is still going. A long time ago. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. So yeah, so Bog, this is 2001, lads. Yeah. If you want to feel old. 2001. Yeah. Man, in 2001, I was in third class in school. <laughs> And you were good, you were and I was grooving to about the sounds of Bog the Donkey. And I bet you I shipped more women than you had back then. Probably at that <laughs> stage, yeah, yeah. Me and Patricia Timlin sitting there having fierce crack at dinner. And then, I don't remember much of the gig or that night. Well, I do. I should remember. I sure wasn't drinking. But I was driving the 94 Vectra. <laughs> that was my car. So I brought, I'd say I brought, if I brought 20 people home that night. <laughs> I was the finest. You could see me rolling up at half four, five o'clock. 
in the morning collecting people. Ray, that's not bad. In 2001, you had a 94 car. That's pretty good, man. What were you doing? It was my own lad's car. Oh, was it? Jesus, it was my car. I was thinking like a seven-year-old car or whatever. Wish, it's not too bad. We have a visitor. Hello, Come hello, on in. Hello. It's Ben Ray. Yeah, Ben. That's the crack, man. <laughs> hello, oh, there, bro. Nice to meet you. Jesus, Ben, thanks very much for coming in to us. You're welcome, Ray. <laughs> should we, should <laughs> we try? Please stick a do, you give me a bed. <laughs> you're, you're literally uh, doing an in, a podcast interview for your bed. The computer is on the He's bed. He's on the bed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it, basically, if you want the bed, you have to put something into the computer to get to get on exactly. the bed. Yeah, that's yeah. what happens. We'll yeah. move the computer if you could put the right, <laughs> yeah. the right level of crack in there. It's bathroom system, this, isn't it? <laughs> no. We, we better offer a drink for you. Oh, yeah, we will. We will. We'll offer you a drink. Would you like yeah. one of our cans? I would indeed, yeah. We got all these cans given to us today by Catherine Centre. You get to choose whatever you want, Ben, but it doesn't matter a hell. What, what have we got? What class of drink do you like? Uh, stuff? Do you like an IPA? I'll take an IPA, yeah. Would yeah. you like a white IPA? The Nickel Fawn is a good one, I hear. Would you like an Irish IPA? That's the right fawn. job now. I'll go, I'll go with your recommendation. White yeah. Ag, Little Fawn. You're mad to get rid of that white beer, aren't you? I think it looks tremendous, right? I didn't think it'd be sell. Well, you might, might get a chance now in about an hour's time. Um, when this gets messy and we're all singing Christy Moore songs. Uh, um... <laughs> We have no headphones, so make sure when you're speaking that you're literally here on the mic, for the most part, oh, yeah. just okay. so it, it gives you the, be- the best thing. Ben wouldn't have much experience with mics now. You're only started at the music, aren't you, that's Ben? That's it, that's it, yeah. <laughs> we started it last And week. how long are you getting the lessons? <laughs> Not long enough. So we should probably explain, we have Ben Real in mm. the room with us. Uh, he's in Swagman tonight, which means nothing. Because this doesn't go out till Tuesday. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just an so we can't promote the gig it's, tonight. Yeah, it's not going on yeah. live at all. You were under false pretenses, I think, when I asked <laughs> you to do this. They kind of went, oh, jeez, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, sure, I might get a few heads into the gig. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll buy you a CD. I'll buy a box of CD off you. I was trying to explain how I met you. And I don't know, do you remember this now? Um, the look of fear on that man's face. <laughs> The mess, they well, met at an orgy. Is with go on, uh, you tell me, and I'll tell you if you're right or not. No, I was telling, I was telling everybody about uh, me. I was at my grad. This was back in 2001. Oh, right. this and, is uh, in Dundalk, isn't it? Yeah? This is where I, the, the night after my grad, I, I was up to Dundalk, and you were the band I went to see. And I sat down there, I'm and sorry. I've never heard anything like it. Ben, you'd be a fierce man for writing an awful pile of songs. What would you get through in a year? Songs. In a year. Like? What would you write? Probably a bird. <laughs> Probably the guts of twenty, maybe a year. Jesus, that's, yeah. that's like two albums a year. There, yeah, there's like, two albums a year. The guts of, yeah. Yeah. and then do you just pick the best ones then and go, "That's the album." So you yeah, might yeah. have twenty songs or over twenty songs, but then you have to pick ones that you think the, like will, a team almost will like, work together for yeah. an album. You know, yeah, yeah. So. And when you're writing, like it's always interesting to me, especially with the way the music industry has gone nowadays. Are you like everyone else? Where you're going, my writing has to be hook driven. You know what I mean? As in, when you listen back to the stuff, are you, look, are you looking for those hooks that catch your ear that you realise? Yeah, well, well, more or less something that that, that actually yeah catches my ear. Yeah. That I go, that I go. I wouldn't be thinking what the yeah. industry's yeah. thinking. I'm yeah. thinking, yeah. 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 just no, like you're not going to write them a love song, says you. As Sarah <laughs> Borelli's once said. Well, <laughs> yeah, she did. She yeah, said not write you a love song, lads. And that was her hook. And that was her hook. And that yeah. was her big song. I'm not going to write you. A love. Yeah. Sometimes a song will happen, and you'll write it in ten minutes, and it'll, yeah. be, do- it'll be done and dusted. Sometimes that yeah. happens as well. You know. That's. That, you know? that, that's 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 probably the most fulfilling way of doing it. Oh yeah, say. that's you know you have a good one when you yeah. when you do that. Or sometimes it can be shade too. <laughs> <laughs> have you Never um know. have you had no no have you had no no? Yeah, land of escape is the latest. Land edition. of escape. And is around is behind April. the title? Huh? Is around behind the title? Anything behind it? Yeah. Well, land of escape. Uh, well, I think the yeah. Well, maybe the whole message in the album is a bit of escapism. You know, escapism yeah. from the. Uh, What's your favourite type of escapism? <laughs> do you like do like you bandage like, kind of stuff? Like, no, no, <laughs> not that sort of stuff. Do you like playing an Xbox or would you be a PlayStation no. man? Or do you like long walks on the beach? Uh, well, if there was a beach near me, but uh, right, yeah. that's right. Where are yeah. you from? South Armagh. South Armagh. Yeah, I always yeah. put you down as a Monaghan man. No, no. Sorry about that. I lived no, in Castleblaney, all right, for twelve years. My, my yeah. missus is from Castleblaney. From but Monaghan. you're South Armagh. Yep. All oh, right, you're so f- you're from the UK. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Wait a second. Oh. the end of this. Uh, Ray, did we, did steady you, on there. Did we just bring a foreigner into this? We're after bringing a foreigner. <laughs> You're the first lad from another country we've had in the podcast. Hey, oh, 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 Can I say know. fuck off in this hey. podcast? Hey, there, there, there could be an Irish band playing down the Swagman tonight, lad. I don't know why we have to read. Bring a foreigner's in taking all the gigs. It's That's not the, right. No, it's from the free state of South Armagh. All oh, right, okay. And, so, yeah. uh, this land of escape. 
Land of Escape is the current album, yeah. And w- what yeah. was kind of, what was the, was there any kind of big thought behind it or was it just a collection of thoughts that you threw together? Or? Yeah, it was a collection of songs that I had. It's more of a mellow kind of album, you know. It was nearly, nearly I was setting out to do my Astral Weeks, you know. Mm. Um, I suppose you'd have to explain what Astral Weeks is to those who are not in the know. Well... <laughs> If you don't know what it is, tough. <laughs> An album from a, a wee East Belfast uh, grumpy gay called Van Morrison. Uh, it was, that was <laughs> Back big, in 1960. That was his big grumpy. album, wasn't it? Well, it was kind One of his critically acclaimed album. I wouldn't be saying it was his best album or anything, but... Uh, Are you a huge his, Van the Man fan? Uh, well, what would have been in, in the, when I was younger? You know, he, there was a period I went through where he was, you know, a big influence. Definitely, yeah. maybe when I was from 19 to 21, I was yeah. I was listening to Van Morrison. Did yeah. you ever meet him though? I did meet him once, did yeah. You? yeah. What was he like? Grumpy little shit. Oh, he's supposed to be <laughs> lethal. You know when they done the first Fela? Did they do it in Taurus or some shit? Yeah, he, it was there. Yeah, yeah. were well, you at it? Yeah, And he at played it. at it. Yeah, yeah. And you know that he wouldn't walk across the stones from his car to the stage and they had to put a red carpet down for him to yeah, walk onto the I stage. That's yeah. 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 He's supposed that. to be lethal. I didn't want to mention this to you guys now, but he actually wrote into us there last week. He's a regular listener on this show. <laughs> <laughs> but that's grand, like you just blow away there and put the man down. No, no, yeah. I, I, I still think that his version with the band of Caravan is one of the best live performances I've ever seen. If yeah. anyone's into yeah, Van the Man, yeah. look up Caravan when he's playing with the band. Yeah, I don't want to defamate him or defecate him. <laughs> I think he might be coked out of it. <laughs> I'm not sure. Now point. that is defamation. <laughs> yeah. That's defamation right there. Not defecation. It's just defamation. my opinion, is yeah. all. I think he yeah. might be. It's no, but that's fine. If it's just your opinion, that's all it is. Yeah. Um, Ray, I'm allowed to say whatever I want. Like I'm a free guy. Like you don't even. Okay, so we're probably going to get Ben to play a song if we can. But I want to say something first before we do it, Ray. We've got a couple of guests in here, right? And we mm-hmm. we we don't get people in unless we enjoy them. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like we can do whatever we want with this podcast, so it doesn't oh, matter. Yeah. We're gonna there's afford re- anyone. Yeah, there's, but there's a reason we get people in. So we got we got Dara Slacking, she's good crack, and Josh McClory and they're great musicians. Yeah. Please listen to Ben Reel's music. I promise you you will love us. The Irish touring probably wouldn't be anything compared to what you do abroad in Europe. Yeah, I do a lot in Holland and Germany. I'm off now to Holland uh, from the first to the eighteenth of November as well. So if you're abroad in Holland where can they check you out abroad in Hol- for all our Holland listeners? <laughs> well, well, check them. check the website benreel.com. You'll see the, the listens of the tour dates. Would you do uh, much in the fish book and the Instagram? On the Facebook and oh. Instagram amusements. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I try to keep keep on top of it. Keep yeah. it on. Would you well, Snapchat uh, as well, would you? The what? <laughs> Snapchat? Snapchat? You have, no. No, I don't do snap, Snapchat. <laughs> what about Tinder or Grinder? Have you any Tinder? No, no, no. Don't be no grinding. Man, Ray is on Grinder, man. It's the best thing he's ever done. Grinder? I've never heard of it. You don't want to know a Tinder, oh. is it? Hmm? T- yeah, it's Tinder. like it's Tinder, Tinder for if if fellas like fellas or yeah. if girls like girls. <laughs> Jesus. It's a good job. Like you played that one well there. You never heard of it, you know? <laughs> you know yeah, you, you don't have <laughs> uh, there. What's, what's grinder? I never <laughs> yeah. heard of that since you. Cheers, you're the right Thankfully funny man. Then, huh? yeah. Cheers. Right, will we get you to do a song? Uh, well, I don't know. You don't watch a good There's a friend do. of mine abroad in New Zealand called Sean Bagnan, and yeah. he always used to say to me, play that song you love. <laughs> And I felt they were great, great words, you know. Yeah. Thanks very much. You want to move the mic up there, yeah, you know where she is? <coughs> That's fine, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I'd have an old droopy fine, stand, yeah. you know. 100%. It wouldn't be now the best quality you mic stand. You picked else for it. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? What are you talking about? Well, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, you do get it. That's what you always say. <laughs> you do get it every night, I'd say. Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, uh, no. Just, that's the only... Well, I'm going to sing a serious song. So on, yeah, okay. Let, look, Ben Reel, take it away, boy. <laughs> this one called Landscapes. Is it, we've got the title track of, it, of the album. Land of escape Floating like a cloud Flying like a bird Go there in my dreams Over beautiful landscapes Land of escape Floating like a cloud Flying like a bird Go there in my dreams Over beautiful landscapes What beautiful landscapes Is this real Or am I dreaming 
And that's off the new album. That's off the new album. That's uh, yeah. And people can buy that tonight down the Swagman. They can indeed. Yeah. So everybody get down to the Swagman yeah. when you see this know podcast. Get down to the Swagman. <laughs> Too late, man. It was last week. <laughs> <laughs> can you buy your album online and stuff? Yeah, like yeah. is it possible? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Well, I think it should be available in record shops in Ireland if uh, the distributor left. Left. If the distrib- <laughs> distribution did its job. So let's go uh, down to the record room and say, "Have you any of that Ben Real Good fella? You know the Ben Real Good or whatever yeah, his name yeah. is. Have you any of him?" But the <laughs> best place, go to the website benreal.com, order it off me directly. Buy yeah. from the artist directly. And yeah. you, you no middleman, no yeah, bullshit. Sweet, man. Means I get all the money. <laughs> Fuck the rest of them. And what day of the week would you spend uh, the mornings now putting albums into envelopes <laughs> and sending them lovingly off down the country? Oh, yeah, yeah. That I'd, takes a whole day for to do that. I'd say the postman. <laughs> the postman hates calling your house. He does, he yeah. He might have two ESB bills for you, and all of a sudden, <laughs> you wouldn't mind running them down to the post office, would you? <laughs> <laughs> we better let you go now and do your game. Yeah, better Are do, the boys better below go. setting up for you, there? No, the... I've got the key of the van. They can't even get into the van. I handed them the key and they says, no, sure, we'll wait till you get back. Ah, oh, they oh, knew well. No. Oh. Yeah. Slay, feckers. Right, so, no so we're going to say goodbye to you and so, because yeah, you, you've got go. a lot to do. I better go, <laughs> Ben, yeah. thanks very much. Thanks, for lads. For coming Enjoyed in. it. Yeah. Play, thanks, yeah. lads. Good luck. See you later. See you. Whoa. And Ben has now left the shed. Yep, fair play to Ben Real. I wasn't really fond of him, if I'm honest, no. Are you not? He didn't have an opinion on himself or something, did he? You know, I have to send him this before we put it out. And the likes of you then saying that doesn't give it do us any favours. Do you know what, Ray? We didn't tell him to play a song at all. He was <laughs> adamant. I, I I said, we don't really have a guitar. No, I'll, I'll play, we get a guitar. I'll play a song. Like, what <laughs> the hell is wrong with him? <laughs> so there, we go. there we go. That was Ben Real, fair play to him. Another marvellous uh, musician. Don't Check play, him out, lads. Don't play a game. Yeah? Yeah. What do you want to play? Again, <laughs> quiz. <laughs> Ray, do you know what? What? I feel bad that I have to say this. What? When this episode goes out, yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. 
I will be 27. What? It's my birthday on Tuesday. Get away! I forgot about that. Oh, that's very nice. Well, you forgot about it. Like, I did a massive deal for your birthday. You did nothing for me. <laughs> what did you do for my birthday? We did a big ra- get to know Rainbow birthday quiz. Would you like the fans? Yeah. You know, the four or five of them that we have. <laughs> Would you like them to do anything for your birthday? Send you a nice weave. Yeah. Would we get them to send you in a wee voice message. Yeah, because sometimes I just need to hear stuff like that. So, so you could send it to send in your birthday messages yeah. to me because I'm really needy. Yeah, a couple of video messages, maybe a couple of audio messages. If you'd like to say something to Kendi yeah. on his birthday this Tuesday, you're probably you're probably hearing this podcast now after the birthday's happened. But yep. send them on the few, and then what we'll do is we'll include a few of the more good crack ones. Yeah, maybe in the next podcast. Maybe yeah, you could get your voice hmm. on the podcast. That's right. How are mm-hmm. we getting on now with the bag of cans? We're fairly there now. We've four or five of them gone. <laughs> Fair play to Ben. He came in here, drank us out of the house and home. He did. Hmm. The old so. Do you want to play a game? Yeah, let's play a game. Yeah. All right, we'll play a game. A birthday game for Kendi. Yup. Now, when when it was my birthday, you put a lot of effort into it. I did put a big effort into it. You no. did, no. In I fairness. put a big personal effort into it. No, and I didn't right. do that at all. <laughs> I I I I've got a little uh, kind of a quiz for you. Right, go on. Right, hit me. It's called Guess the Fart. <laughs> It's called Guess the Fart. We're going to play a game of Guess the Fart. Right, quite. Right. As we're recording here in um, Chapel Street, which is my home, Tis. Um, I live here now with three other individuals. You do. I live here with young Emer. I also live here with Sean O'Reilly, who we've mentioned numerous occasions on the show. And we have a new entrant into the house. You do. We have a girl called Kira Stunningham. Kira Stunningham. Kira Stunningham moved in there only a Monday. Yeah. Which is only a few days back. Yeah. Well, what we did was, we got all four of them to record a fart. That's rotten. <laughs> that is rotten, Ray. Why would you do that? Because it's so much fun that you have to try and pick out whose fart is which. <laughs> <laughs> this has never been done on radio Ray. or television or anything before. Are they okay with this? Huh? Are they oh, they're okay? perfectly fine. They're kind of, they're, if they're in fact, I don't think they, they think you're going to actually guess it. This is a weird house, man. Oh, this is a weird... So why, what am I in? Are you ready now for um, fart number one? Fart number one. Fart number one. Let's see, can I get it in on the thing there now? All right, to fart number one. <laughs> Do you want to hear that one again? Yeah. <laughs> we'll go with that one again. Can we have silence, please, now, please? Oh, there's a lot of air in that now. <laughs> She'll be a high one now. <laughs> right, so we'll go with fart number two. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's, that's a good solid one, that one now, wasn't it? We'll give it to you again there. We'll give it to you again. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Fart number oh, three. Now, you better be keeping an eye on these, right? Fart number three. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, fart number four. Oh, you okay. as well? Yeah, one of them is me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'll give you four again there, just in case you didn't hear it. Oh, there was the air before it. <laughs> there was a bit of a pre-fart. The b- the b- <laughs> <laughs> there was a bit of a sandbag in there. Now, have you any idea? Hey, that Get- is... Oh, my God. Is this what we've become? <laughs> Toilet humour. This is what yeah. we've become. Yeah, yeah. I like to bring it back to the nice games once in a while. <laughs> Let's go crack in these like. Could I get fart number one for again? Can please? you get fart number one again? We'll give you fart number one again. <laughs> one, two, three, and four. Yeah. Who are they? Well, that's Kerry Stunningham, that first. You one. think that's Kerry Stunningham? Yeah. Okay. What about number two? Who do you think number two is? I'm going to play it again for you there. <laughs> <laughs> Who could two be? Is that you? You're going with me for that I one? I think that might be you. All right, so Kira's okay. number one. You're number two. I'm number two. Who do you think number three is? <laughs> <laughs> that, short and sweet, that one now. That's Sean O'Reilly. That's Sean O'Reilly? Yeah. All right, okay, fair enough. So you honestly think number four, then, is my beautiful lady girlfriend? Yes, it is. I've heard of fart before. <laughs> you think that's Emer? Yeah, I've heard of fart before. It's rot on. All right, okay. So Kira, Ray, Sean, yeah. and Emer. That's a just fine answer. I get any of them right. You got one of them right. Wait, which one to get right? They're all Emer. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Kira studying how would not do no, that. No, she wouldn't or make Sean. a noise like that. No, no, or no. Sean. Actually, how do you think I'd be able to convince Sean already to let me record one of his? Yeah, parts? no way. I was like, there's no way that happened. Yeah, no. In fairness, now one of the nights there recently, we were sitting on the couch and young Amor was being a ball girl in the room, and I eventually said, "Well, do you know something? I'm going to start taping these." <laughs> so every time was going, one was coming along, I said, "You let me know, and I'll get the voice memo out on the phone." Emer, that is disgusting. It's a little quiz. My God. There's no harm of a little quiz in the show. I know, a very beautiful little quiz, though, that was as well. Like quiz, say. Yeah. But I can't believe you actually thought one of them was Sean's. Like, I couldn't believe that Kira and Sean would fart into a microphone. <laughs> they would not. It just doesn't. It's an awful thing to ask someone, you know. 
It is, yeah, and I wouldn't be using your phone if I were you now for a while. You know? <laughs> <laughs> your phone, Dobby, you get, you get pink eyed. Eamor's mad to get on the podcast, and this was her only route. Now she's on it. Now she's on it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Eamor's well on it now, so she is. <laughs> she's well on the podcast. I'd like to thank Eamor for, for, for being for, the, the Providing the guest. sound effects, yeah. yeah. Could I give you a scenario now? Go on. Here in Sligo, we have a Lidl. Yeah. We've had a Lidl for years, uh-huh. right? A damn fine, good lead. Hey, nothing wrong with it, boy. Great location. Great location. It's not off the beaten track a little bit. It's yeah, not, not too much traffic. Exactly. Yeah. What the name of Jesus happened in the Lidl boardroom over in Germany, <laughs> where they went, Sligo needs two Lidls. Yeah. <laughs> and I wouldn't mind. They have built a new Lidl. Yeah, they have, yeah. A mile away. It's the yeah. other side of town. I don't know why you're calling it Lidl. Is it Lidl? Lidl? Well, there's three different ones. Lidl, Lidl, or Lidl. But if you're Irish, you have to call it Lidl's. Oh, yeah, you have to add the S to it as well. <laughs> you got over Liddles. I was over Liddles. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know why they... Well, I'm. you actually know why they've built a new Liddle. No, why I think they've built a new Liddle. Ah, so you have a take on it. I have a take on it, because I've seen it, right? Uh, I do drive down that way. Traffic down there is mental. Yeah. To which I would say, why would you build a Liddle in the middle of crazy traffic? To which Liddle would say... <laughs> Why wouldn't we build a little <laughs> in crazy traffic? So yeah. there's a wee school down there. What's it called? The Mercy Convent. Yeah. But right? wouldn't it be a little busy? Huh? Get up! Yeah. No. <laughs> you ain't into this, man. <laughs> hey, you ain't on my level. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't on my level, boy. Don't pretend you are. Sorry, I <laughs> That just came to me there. You're, li- you're, you're, you're a little bit off, man. <laughs> 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 no, you're right. Yeah. All that of traffic. They know that there's mammies and daddies picking up children at yeah. four o'clock in the evening and going, try to go in and do the shopping now. Yeah. No, now, that's exactly why. We had to visit the new Lidl. Is it open? Oh, it is. Oh, is it? Since the Friday, the October 4th. Oh, yeah. And um, for anyone listening, by the way, it's not from Sligo. There's two Lidls now in Sligo. <laughs> we have two Lidls. That's what, that's it's big news for the town, like. <laughs> like, we're not a big town. Ooh. But we have two freaking Lidls. Yeah, no. And... We had to go visit it. And my instant reaction was, what is wrong with the... The old Lidl yeah. is six minutes walk from my house. Yeah, if it's not broke, leave it alone. Yeah, exactly. But she wanted to go see what the, She said, oh, I heard it's lovely. <laughs> oh, I heard the new Lidl is lovely. <laughs> I said, what could be different? Yeah. Face painting, probably, I'd no, say. it's bigger. Yeah. I'll give it that. It's a bigger shed yeah. than the old Lidl. So it's, they have a bigger warehouse to put stuff in. Yeah. But it is the same stuff. And she's walking around going, oh, look at all the lovely fruit and veg. They're all in the old Yeah, Lidl. this is the same. Look at the lovely bakery. It's actually smaller than the old Lidl. <laughs> Did you ever get lost when you were a child in a, in a supermarket that you've been in a thousand times and you still get lost and can't find your mother and start crying? Never. <laughs> Did that happen to you? It used to happen to me all the time. Did she buy you a jersey after? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, my young man. Uh, I'll get you a little. Would oh, you have the new Liverpool jersey? Do you? That's what used to happen. I used to get lost, start crying. And I, I've been in the Super Value of Gasserie a thousand times. <laughs> I worked in it for six years. I was 20, like at this stage. Oh, this I, is when you were. <laughs> did you work in Super Value and Gasserie? I worked in Super Value Gasserie for years, man, since, since I was about 15. Mad. Until I was about 20 or 21. What was I'd your say. duties in Super Value Oh, Gasserie? man, I ran that place. <laughs> To the ground. <laughs> so I was uh, made. They call me a prodigy. I was made manager after two weeks. Oh, Is that geez. where you got the quick quit chatting all the Castlerians? Man, the old ladies used to love me in Castlerians. I bet they did. And they did. The old ladies used to love me in Castlerians. Would you ever pass comment on any of the groceries that were scanning over the yoke? <laughs> no. You know what, Mrs. McGrath? That's uh, three boxes this week. I know you got three last week. What are you doing? Must be a heavy flow. <laughs> That's terrible. Please do not edit it me saying heavy flow. That's the worst. <laughs> oh my god. What about clean Kleenex issues? Yeah, no man size anymore. No more man size. We've lost it. <laughs> Isn't that mental? Yeah. But they can't call it man size anymore. Yeah, you can't have any man sized issues. Do you know what's worse though? Yeah. You know if you're getting the train around from Dublin to Westport, yeah. right? Yeah. You have to change over at a junction called Manola. <laughs> Mayo County Council have come out this week and said they're gonna have to change the name. <laughs> Because a couple of girls have complained, and now uh, it's just Ulla Junction. Uh, <laughs> it's it's people Ulla. People Ulla. Yeah, and I was thinking as well, yeah, or, you know. Human Ulla. Unisex Ulla. No, yeah, no, it's human Ulla. <laughs> You're now What about Manor Hamilton? No, I can't have it anymore. No, so it's just R Hamilton. You're joking. <laughs> You're joking. I watched an interview with someone trying to say you can't call it Manhattan anymore. Get away. And you can't say mankind anymore. Wow. You know, either way, it's not that big a deal to me. I'd love to hear what people have to say about it. The question it. I have, though, is... Go on. How are Yorkie getting away with it all these years? <laughs> I know! It's not for girls. <laughs> no, but she can't touch them boys. No. Oh, you couldn't grab the Nestle. <laughs> oh, they'll fleece you. 
Yeah, there wasn't fairness. Was. If ever there was a company now that you, go, you wouldn't go up against. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, I don't really give a shit about the man-sized tissue thing. Why were they called man-sized? That is something I've always wondered. Is it about. because we have bigger snouts? Or more, sh- or more schnoz. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> we needed the ex- Maybe there was a case where tissues were a particular size and men kept complaining that there wasn't enough of tissue. Right. We're going down a very bad path here Is now. it for white with your hair? Ah! Ah! Well, it's just as you were talking about a heavy load, like. There was missus. <laughs> ah! there, was, there was missuses up and down this country going, I don't know what's happening. He's going through 200 a week. I, yeah. just, I, can't, I can't see what's about the... Yeah, so Kleenex come out and they said, we're going to bring out man-sized tissues. Yeah. So after that, then, housewives didn't have the same problem. Where <laughs> fellas were coming in off the farm after doing a hard day's drawn in silage. Yeah. And they just all they wanted to do was blow their nose. Ah! And these little, <laughs> these little, small, little, finicky old tissues. Yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Kleenex come out with man size. Yeah, and now the the, the man size is no more. I don't give a shit about them. Yeah, but they're probably be the anymore. same size. It's just called human size. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. they haven't changed yeah. the size. In One charts. size fits all. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. there'll be a whole pile of misused tissues because women will be using these big tissues meant for men. Yeah, and not using half them, throwing yeah. it away. Yeah, waste tissue. Yeah, yeah, pollution. Because the thing is, really, women don't know how to use the tissues. <laughs> that's the truth. No. <laughs> And I'm glad no, you gave me this forum to say it. Like, you haven't a clue how to use it. Have you any idea how long we fought for man sized tissues? Yeah. You won't even know how to use them. That's the truth. Do you know another thing? Go on. Did you ever see the old man that'd be in mass? Yeah. And he'd have a tissue up his sleeve. Oh, yeah. Or in his pocket. Yeah. Like, my father's an off man for pulling out a tissue out of his pocket. <laughs> and I'm, I'd say it would be there for six months. Oh, yeah. Probably and, longer. But that'd be a man sized tissue. Yeah. That's yeah. what they're like. I wonder as the hanky died. Jerry, you remember the old man used to have the oh, hanky, yeah. you know? The hanky. Jerry, there was an old fella. I used to go and see me, me dad playing music in a place called the Four P's outside Bile. And four there was P's? An, yeah. There was an, yeah, the Four, the four Provinces, it was oh, called. Oh, good. Yeah, I wonder what it was stand above. for, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, there was an old fella who used to sit above in the bar and he used to say to me, every night we'd be there, I have a mouse night. in my pockets. Which, when I think back on it... <laughs> a mouse? <laughs> yeah. When I think back on it, you know, it, it, you know I'm not sure how appropriate it was. <laughs> But he used to pull out this dirty old grey tissue and he used to put it into the shape of a mouse and I used to think he used to be carrying a little mouse inside in his pocket. It was just a dirty, smelly old hanky that he never took out of his pants, I'd say. Nasty. And then he used to bring me into the bathroom then. And he, <laughs> Stop, Mark. He taught me two of the best things I've ever learned. Oh, no, I knew. Where are you going with this? He taught me how to milk a cow blindfolded. <laughs> and he taught me how to keep a secret. <laughs> We're worried we? about stuff going out. That is the worst of stuff going out. So how to milk a cow blindfolded. <laughs> and how to keep a secret. And how to keep a secret. We can't keep any of this stuff in, can we? <laughs> Might just be the outtakes. Oh. When we move on to something else. How do we get so giddy? Like, I don't know, we just jumped from, from the new to the ridiculous. To and the we ridiculous. try and keep this really, uh, like, laid back. <laughs> and we don't try and jump the gun into smuts or any of that stuff. Man, we just spent 15 minutes. But we're men. We are boys. We are men. Lads. 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 Crack. Lads. Crack. Lads. Lads. Shots. Crack. Shots. 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 Pints. Pints. Sausages. Sausages. Pints. Yours. Men. Yeah. That's what we are. That's what we do. <laughs> podcast for men. That's what we do. And also ladies who want to think like men. Yeah. <laughs> We're definitely marginalised. A window into our minds. Yeah, we're also closing that window every time we mention something like this. Yes, yeah, and also maybe we're supported by Nestle. Who maybe make Yorkies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, nope, like it or not, but come here. You're a big YouTube star this week. I might have gone viral amongst maybe seventy people. Maybe. <laughs> No, that's actually one of them. I have to shout out uh, Rory Maitland, the barber out in Colooney. So he had this idea to get musicians in. You cut their hair, chat to them a little bit, and then they'd play a song inside in the barbers. His brother Drew is a whiz with the camera. I've never seen you looking as well. I know. Drew and it took a like very a talented cameraman <laughs> to make you look that well. It did. Now, they were very close shots. I have a big belly, Abby. Oh, see. my God. You must be 16 stone. Oh, man, the far side of it, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. The far side of it. Yeah. But yeah, they done a, I done a cover of an old song called Bees Wing, and they fired it up on YouTube. And if you search, uh, just search Roy Maitland Barber Sessions, yeah. uh, Mark Hendy, whatever, on YouTube, and you'll find the tune. He's going to keep doing it with artists. It won't all be covers. There'll be boys playing original music. And it's a great idea, so I have to I have to say a fair play to him. That's that and so. Yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I think the main point of this, yeah, we had a guy, Ben Reed, whatever, yeah. Uh, <laughs> YouTube, Mark Kennedy, Beeswing, Barber Sessions. That's the main point of what we're trying to get across here today. Of you. 
Well, yeah, Ray. As opposed to the, the, the <coughs> twenty-year sorry. veteran. Yes, yeah, sorry, Be- uh, Ben Reeves here as well. Uh, yeah. So yeah, me, <laughs> Bees Wing, and Ben Reeves here as well. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and obviously, <laughs> like, share, subscribe. Like, share. Uh, can oh. I do? Can I do it like a YouTuber? Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Wait for those bells to ring, and you too could be listening every day to Kendi and Raybo. <laughs> What the hell was That's that? That's what YouTubers do. They're way over exuberant. Hands are everywhere. Oh. I can do all this shit, Ray. I could be like a YouTube um, influencer if I wanted to be. A sensation. I could be a sensation, boy. Anyway, Raybo, fair play to us and happy birthday to myself. Happy birthday, Mac. Thank you. Good luck. Bye.